to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Now let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, you know, we, we've we seen the movie Terminator. <laughs> yeah, we The have. Rise of the Machines. We didn't see it together or anything. I but mean. We, we have seen it. Yeah. I've seen all of A them. A lot of you at home have seen it too. And Even the new ones where it got weird. Yeah, I didn't know if I, I don't think I've seen those, but anyway. You know, basically, it's like machines taking over. Sing- they get singularity, which is where machines become sentient, sentient, where they understand that they are a being rather than being instructed to do things. Self-awareness. And, uh, you know, there's AI is a big, a big talk right now, right? You know, everything's AI, AI, AI. And we know how I feel about AI. <laughs> how do you feel about it? Let everybody that know. It's going to ruin the world like the internet. You think they're going to rule the world? You think ruin, it's, it's going to ruin the world like the internet. Like the internet. Yeah, actually, before I get into this, exactly what I was going to talk about, I actually, I forgot. I saw something. Uh, there was a, it, somebody said something about AI. It says that it's, and then I was like, man, this is interesting. The task that generative AI has been most successful at is lowering our expectations. That part. Both of the things that we read of ourselves when we write anything for others to read is a fundamentally dehumanizing technology because it treats us as less than what we are, creators and apprehenders of meaning. It reduces the amount of intention in the world. Oh, that part. (laughs) So... Bro, the, the the term intention is is fuck is key there too. I heard a an artist, uh, a graphic artist, say is that he could never call AI imagery art because art requires intention. What were you trying to say with this piece? Every artist intends on a purpose when they create art, and because you cannot have intention when you create AI imagery, it could never be classified as art. And I thought that was a very poignant thought, and the fact that you brought it like full circle with that, I have to agree. Yeah, man, I have to agree. It's, it's because you know AI writes just to write. It just right. It just it's exactly. not trying to. It just mimics. It mimics. Yeah, it's mimicking art. It's mimicking music. It's mimicking art. Uh, uh, pros you know what i mean it's it's just it's mimicking human Fair. whatever and then we have a lower expectation because mm-hmm. like if you see ai videos <clears throat> i mean I, i've uh, been following this account on twitter that posts a ton of like ai videos mm-hmm. and it's gonna get to the point where you don't need humans to act anymore because they're gonna create fake humans to act because it's just they'll be like look at this 30 second short and i'm like it still looks a little awkward mm-hmm. but give it like 10 years and it's gonna be it's gonna be fluid it's gonna look like it's gonna be humans vo- we'll need human voices to voice the yeah. ai actors you don't need a because you don't have to worry about your actor getting old they can stay young and hot and the, the big for 30 years like the simpsons of but they look human instead of looking like a cartoon like there's videos of like two super beautiful women holding up a paper that says sorry we're not real we're ai and like it's like can you and then the video the he the when he plays it can you believe that this isn't a video it just looks like two girls sitting on a bed and they pick up a piece of paper and point at it and it's like oh my god i thought they were real women yeah and, you know it's I, I watch i watch a lot of I, I watch a lot of ai content i will not lie to you i i, I look at a lot because I want to be able to pick it out. Right, right. I can pick it out pretty good right now. Me too. I'm pretty good right. at it. You have you have to be good because you. Some of it's real close. It's, it's getting really close. So and yeah, and give it ten years. What you know what I mean? So, anyways, the whole purpose of the, there's a company. Their website is one x dot tech, <clears throat> and they are making goddamn ha- Android human assistants. They're making they're making butlers, they're man. They're making butlers, little, little AI butlers. And these things are goddamn terrifying. They're terrifying. Like if you're so. watching on the YouTube channel, we're gonna flash a picture because I'm sure we're gonna get copyrighted if we do a video. <laughs> so this thing, it's like it's all black and its chest is white. It has one of those like those like digital screen faces. So their face is blank, but it like lights can pop up on it and stuff. And I got the stats of it. It is 5.41 inches feet, 5.41 feet tall. So, so it's five, five, one, five, yeah, no, five, it's five, 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 four. Five, it four. weighs 66 pounds. 
Oh, it's a lightweight. I could throw it at a room. Yeah, right. Room. It's not going to okay. bite me or Here's, nothing. Here, it can carry oh. 44 pounds. Okay. It, it has a... It's two, a woman. It has... Shut up. <laughs> it has a two to four hour run time on its battery, so it can run for... Two. Here's the part that's terrifying to me. It can walk two and a half miles an hour, which is pretty fast for walking. Okay, okay. It's got... It can run seven and a half miles per hour. <laughs> But it can only carry 44 pounds. But, bro, so imagine this thing <laughs> turns sentient and is, and is chasing you. It can run seven and a half miles per hour. And I imagine that's probably the high end of its extent for two hours straight. So this thing is chasing you at seven and a half miles an hour for two hours. <laughs> Look, man, hold on, where's the picture? Hey, Neo, could you get that knife for me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. And in the video, it shows it like, uh, we don't want to show it, but it's like he picks up the girl's book bag and hands it to her, and then she like gives it a hug. You're like, bro, that's goddamn terrifying. I don't know. I feel like it, at, right now, at that point, it's still weak enough where it's it can't really do anything. I it's mean, still weak enough? Yeah. I mean, what can you do if you could lift 44 pounds? It doesn't matter what can lift. It's made of metal. It weighs 66 pounds. See, I could, you can't pick up 66 pounds. I mean, I, I can pick it up, but like if it has machine grip strength and can crush. Machine grip strength. With a, look, with a drill. If it grabs your goddamn wrist and squeezes, it's breaking your wrist. It's a I machine. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like with adrenaline, I'm destroying that machine. But what I'm saying 66 is if a, if, a, if a 5 one sixty pound person grabs your arm and squeezes, you can b smack it off. If that thing's metal fingers get wrapped around your wrist, wrist and lock, you are not getting that hand off of you. That's fine. It's not getting its circuitry back because I'm going to short circuit the F but out of it. But then you don't have a hand. I'm going to be like Wolverine and Deadpool and that final scene with my wrist inside of the time Spoiler space alert. continuing. It, so if you're... <laughs> if, what do you think? So, it's so, been out for weeks. So, so say you grab billions it. billions of dollars. So say it tries to attack you and you grab its 66 pound frame and you throw it. Yeah. And then it comes chasing after you at seven miles an hour. <laughs> Bro, it's seven miles per hour. I can outrun that. For two hours? No, not for two hours. Run, I want to see you run seven and a half miles an hour for two minutes. It's not going to get me. It can only lift 44 pounds. What's it going to do? Pick me up? No, never. It's just it's going to stand it's there. It's short just... circuit trying. I'm, t I'm telling you, I'm not afraid of it. I'm not the, scared of no AI robots. AI butler. robots are terrifying. I will admit that it could be a scary situation if it ever, you know... Turned on you. <laughs> yeah, like, it could be weird. What was that, Megan? Like, that movie Megan? Yeah, I like that movie. It's Especially if, like, the robot starts looking like a humanoid and has, like, lifelike skin. People start buying AI butler sex robots. Bro, you know, it's and the sad part is that, yes, it's going to go there because that's an industry where people are definitely interested. Because everybody's horny? I mean, and just wants know, to have sex with a robot? I don't know. It's weird. Uh, look, check it. I mean, look, it would it would be something. It would be, you know, you live a little. <laughs> live, a, live a little. <laughs> I would say it's like if you get something that's like life. Like, if it's like Deep Space Nine, Seven of Nine looking type of stuff, you know. Star Trek Voyager. Sure, I have no idea. You know what I'm saying? Beverly sure. Crusher. Sure. Like lifelike looking. Because it's a human in a in a show. Yeah. If it's like it's if it's like MCU type of like beautiful android, then yeah, I want that. Like I want to give it a shot. Let me give it a whirl. Hook me up. If it's Star Wars like beautiful android. Have sex with? Yeah. Why not, oh, dude? When in Rome? What is happening? If it's a Rick and Morty like situation, yeah, buy me the sex droid and let let me give it a whirl. Just like one, you have to. I don't know if I have to. I'm so mad that women in this country can buy these freaking alien looking. Just like, have you ever looked at a bad dragon and? <laughs> Like, they can buy these contraptions and swings and shit, and the moment a guy says he wants to put it in a robot, everybody looks at him like he's fucking crazy. Get the hell out of here. Have you seen the stuff on Adam and Eve's website that is available for women? It is insane. You, I know you know. Wow. So I'm not going to sit up here and be shamed because I say if you come up with a lifelike android that looks like... I'm not shaming you. 
all. That looks like uh, uh, Beyonce. All I said was, do I have to want to have sex with a yes. robot? Yes, you do. <laughs> as your God-given right as a man in this country, for equality's sake, you have to. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you have Lord, to. I guess I'm letting down the whole male race. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I'm clipping that. So, uh, anyways. Uh, yeah. It's going to be wild, man. Like, go to 1x.tech. I mean, I hate to give them a shout, but, like, it looks weird. <laughs> You've got to go, look like, weird. look at it and check out some videos of this thing. It's wild. It's, it, it's, it's pretty wild. It do be looking and this weird. Is like, and this is, like, a first draft beta of, of what's going to happen in the next 15 years. So, anyways, that's all that I'm for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. For Jonas. Uh, TNT. Uh, we are out.